Material Arts with Terry. I'm Terry McFeely, creator of Terial Magic, the spray on fabric stabilizer that makes fabric easy. Easy because your fabric becomes more paper like. It's fray free and very stable. Terial Magic is for all natural fiber fabrics like cottons, knits, wools, rayons, silks, and some polyesters. I have used it on Minky Dot and a couple of polyester blends and it's worked fine, but test your fabric. Some polyesters will not absorb and if they don't absorb, Terial Magic will not work. So um, Terial Magic washes out if so desired and if you don't want to wash it out, it's fine. It's not starch. Bugs won't eat it. But if you do want to wash it out, soak it for 10 minutes and then rinse it or wash it in your laundry. Tyrael Magic will not gunk up your sewing needles or your machines the way some fusibles can. It's totally safe for all machines. Tyrael Magic is for sewers, crafters, quilters, and fiber artists alike. Treating your fabric is very easy. Tyrael Magic is just a matter of spraying it on your fabric till it's saturated, drying till it's damp, and then pressing it dry. I have a couple of videos posted now, and I'm working on another one that will be posted this month. So be sure to sign up for my YouTube channel so that you will be notified of all upcoming videos that will be posted. On to stabilizers. Are you ever confused or mystified with all the stabilizers that are out there? Or do you have a drawer full of stabilizers and you're never sure which one to use for any certain project? Well, that would be me. Until now, now Tyrael Magic is my go-to. I use it for all my fabric projects. The only projects I don't use it on would be like garment sewing, and that would be where I am interfacing a facing or a collar or a lapel. Material Magic is perfect for all your fabric projects. Let me walk you through my favorite uses and stay on till the end of the video so that you can get my downloadable list of uses for all your future projects. Okay, let's get started. Embroidery. Hooping fabric is easy without the need of hooping both the fabric and the stabilizer. As you can see, there's nothing on the back. No cutaway, no fusible. The stitches are, e are even and there's no gaps. Here is the very same embroidery done and then washed. This is a knit. You can see the stitches did not collapse and there's no shadow like in this one. This I use a tr traditional stabilizer, a cutaway. As you can see, there are shadows. There's also the itchy backing. This is a woven I did. It works beautiful for just any cotton, any natural fiber, as you can see. And then this is another knit I did. The Tyrael Magic took the stretch out beautiful. T-shirt quilting. There is no longer any reason to use expensive iron-on, time-consuming iron-on stabilizers for t-shirt quilts. Material Magic takes the stretch out of your fabric and makes your t-shirts more like woven. As you can see here, this is a woven fabric I stitched the t-shirt fabric to without any other stabilizers. This is an example of piecing I did with treated Tyrael Magic knit. See how the seams open and press beautifully? This is the very same piecing done with fabric that was not treated. And you can see that uh, pressing the seams open is quite a mess. And also the Tyrael Magic will wash out of your t-shirt fabric so you no longer have to have this hard stiff t-shirt quilt. You'll have a soft, supple t-shirt quilt just like you would expect t-shirt fabric to be. Inkjet and laser printing. Go ahead and cut your treated fabric to your paper size and then load fabric side down into your printer. You no longer need freezer paper or any of those special papers to put your fabric on to print on. The fabric 
is printed in your printer just like paper. And once it comes out, I like to heat set the ink, make sure it's permanent ink. I like to heat set it with an iron so that it's color fast. This is an example of a small little quilt that I had done and I printed little dress pieces out of different colored fabrics and then applique them on to this little wall quilt. Electronic cutting machines. There are many models that are out there and I have tried quite a few. And what's really nice is that fabric treated with material magic mats and cuts just like paper. This is an early doily design that I did, which is beautiful. And recently I got a Cricut cutter and did this little card. I made the, I cut the envelope out and glued it together on the Cricut cutter. And then this is the card, which is quite lovely. It's paper and fabric. The fabric is the underlay. And of course the card was cut using a, a card stock. These little hearts I cut out on the electronic cutter, then hand gathered them and placed them in the card. Die cutting with Terial Magic. Terial Magic treated fabric makes the perfect medium for die cutting because once your die cut is finished, it's fray free, allowing you to go ahead and piece and stitch your designs and then press beautifully. You can do multiple layers with the Tyrael Magic Treated Fabric. And then of course, once you've finished with your quilt or your project, you can always wash it out. Very nice. Thread painting. Thread painting is one of my favorite uses with Tyrael Magic. The freedom of thread painting without heavy leave-in stabilizers is amazing. I got flawless results. As you can see here, this is several different uses of the thread painting. This is an applique I did with a little fairy. There's some color enhancing done, some moss. Um, it was just a lot of fun to use thread painting to enhance this beautiful little wall quilt. Raw edge applique. Material Magic treated fabric cuts like paper and is fray resistant. And if you treat your background fabric when you're stitching them, they stitch perfectly. They don't even need to be pinned or temporary glued uh, together. I just set them down, kind of hold them with my finger, and either zigzag or top stitch. As you can see, beautiful. No leave-in stabilizers. Once you wash it, um, everything's gone and you're back to your soft normal fabric. Another use is reverse applique. Very similar to raw edge applique. Uh, as you can see, this has been zigzagged, but it also could have been top stitched. Um, another perfect use for Tyrael Magic treated fabric. I created Tyrael Magic for 3D art that I was doing and I couldn't get the results that I wanted because fabric was wimpy, it frayed. So I created Tyrael Magic so that I could do my three-dimensional art. Tyrael Arts has eight flower patterns, two quilt patterns, and a fairy wing. This is one of the quilt patterns. And as you can see, these flowers are in stem pockets. So you can change out the flowers if you want. Our flower patterns are easy to follow. This is a rose. My fairy wings are my favorite. This is one of my granddaughters wearing the fairy wings in a baby picture. So check out our patterns at terialmagic.com. Treating your fabric with Tyrael Magic makes it paper-like, allowing you to do your paper crafts with fabric. Here we have some stamping that was done on just a, a white cotton fabric. And then this little mini quilt was made with the stamp fabrics. Paper art, like rosettes, can also be done with fabric. This is fabric treated with Tyrael Magic, 
and cut just like you would be doing a strip of, of paper and we added little bows with gross grain ribbon. Fabric origami is another use for Tyriel Magic treated fabric. It's another one of the crafts that you could normally you would normally be doing with paper, but you can get more texture and uh, vibrance with the fabrics. Fabric postcards are fun to make. This was made, of course, with just treated fabric. The women uh, in this particular fabric, this is an Alexander Henry fabric, I think, uh, were just treated and cut out. As you can see, no fraying. I used a cardstock on the other side and zigzagged it all together. It's a great way to make a personal greeting for any of your favorite friends. Adding fabric to your greeting cards is another wonderful way to express your creativity. As you can see, this is some minty, mini bunting here, a little cupcake that was made. These are all using fabric instead of paper, which I think makes a birthday card or any type of greeting very unique. Okay, that was just a few of the uses that are my favorite uses. There are many more. I would love to hear from you. So if you have any other use or you have a project you wanna post, go to Facebook, Tyriel Arts, and you can post it there. And also, if you have any comments or questions, you can comment below. I will personally answer those questions. And also, we have a store at our website, TyrielMagic.com, where you could pick up any of the products you saw that I was talking about on this video. Plus, we have an inspiration page with lots of projects and ideas that you can, you can download and do yourself. And lastly, like my YouTube video, please. Uh, I put a lot of work into this, and I'm going to be doing probably one video a week and one video and one project a month. So go ahead and sign up for my YouTube page so that you'll be posted on all the new videos coming out. Uh, I really had a great time with this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you.